There are few sites guaranteed to stir the emotions than an old steam engine, but how many of us will ever get behind the controls of a real one? Of course, these days you just need to switch on a computer and climb aboard a virtual footplate with a simulator. Here in the historic setting of Berry Transport Museum, we're trying out a new computer sim game. How are you finding it? The game is quite realistic, but then I've been taking it gently. I've done anything silly with it so that you, uh, <laughs> you have a serious crash. Well, that sounds promising, and Dave really ought to know what he's doing. He's the foreman at the East Lancashire Railway. He's worked with steam locos for 50 years and knows his drain cocks from its flanges. There we go, that's better. It's starting to pick up now. You can hear the beat. We're actually getting that choo 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 sound, aren't we? Well, you can call it choo choo choo, I call it chuff. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you say chuff, I say chew. Yeah, tomatoes and tomatoes. You can always turn the sound up if you want. You can't do that on a real, real engine. Oh, yes, you can. It's a regulator, it's called the volume control. <laughs> The game's designers have painstakingly recreated the 36-mile journey from Liverpool Lime Street to Crewe as it was in 1958. They say the infrastructure and track work is historically accurate. We've been looking specifically at photography and uh, reference images from all things like magazines and newspapers to get to make sure that we can do things like uh, Ditton Junction to the, the best of its ability or the Runcorn Bridge, which are really iconic parts of this route. And we've seen so many people come back to us and say, this reminds me of my childhood. This reminds me, my, my dad's played this and he was in tears because it was so, uh, so kind of, there was so much fidelity and so many memories there. <laughs> We're coming up to the um, to the hump because the the marshalling yard, uh, you could was gravity shunting as well. You can you quite literally get the hump. Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> oh dear, still full gear. Let's pull it up a bit. You got the brake left. Oh, I put the brake on. No. <laughs> I really enjoyed playing the game, but what was Dave's verdict? And how about a tip? Yeah, it's very good. The 8F behaved pretty much. I was expect uh, an 8F to behave. The tip is patience. Don't push it too hard, you can go as fast as you want. Steam engines are not like internal combustion. They require a little bit of patience. Dave's not planning to hang up his overalls for at least another 10 years, but with Heritage Railways eager to welcome younger volunteers, might these games inspire the Xbox generation to drive the real thing? Phil Cunliffe, BBC Northwest tonight, Berry.